I am in sunny Beverly Hills, California, at the site of the very first California Pizza Kitchen. This brand, launched in 1985, did nothing less than revolutionize pizza forever in ways that still reverberate throughout the country. Back then, most Americans expected every pizza to have three things, a crust, tomato sauce, and mozzarella. It was a combination that could be traced all the way back to 16th century Naples, Italy, when the tomato was introduced from America. When King Umberto and his wife, Queen Margarita, visited in 1889, the queen fell in love with the simple tomato, mozzarella, and basil pie that matched the red, white, and green of the Italian flag, and it became known as Pizza Margarita, a humble dish suddenly fit for a king and queen. Since then, pizza has obviously spread far and wide with the basic building blocks of tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese on bread base as the expected norm. That is, until the 1980s, when California Pizza Kitchen helped start a pizza revolution. I'm meeting with Brian Sullivan, the Senior Vice President of Culinary Innovation for CPK. Hi, how are you? Welcome to CPK. And he's going to tell us how they changed the game. Two attorneys, Rick Rosenfield and Larry Flax, tapped Chef Ed Ledoux initially, and they used his expertise to kind of help him with the new menu. Chef Ed Ledoux is considered one of the founding fathers of gourmet California-style pizza. He was hired by legendary chef Wolfgang Puck to be his head pizza chef at his exclusive high-end new restaurant Spago in 1982. There, he developed over 250 unique pizza concepts using unusual ingredients like pate, smoked salmon, and caviar that had not been seen on a pizza before. The founders of California Pizza Kitchen wanted Ledoux to help them reinvent pizza for the masses the way he did for the Hollywood elite at Spago. The thought that Rick and Larry has was to make it a little bit more accessible to people. Flavors that they could identify with that they love, but in unexpected combinations. CPK proved that a pizza didn't have to just be tomato sauce and mozzarella. It could be a blank canvas where you could create mouth-watering combinations with ingredients from any cuisine. This delicious revelation, as well as the invention of one unique pizza variation, which became iconic from coast to coast, propelled CPK from their first restaurant that I'm at today to a chain of over 250 locations. So this is the original menu right here. There's a lot of fusion on here, a yeah. lot of exotic ingredients. Japanese eggplant, duck, goat cheese, and rabbit? I'm stuck on rabbit sausage. You guys still offer that on the menu? No. <laughs> I think uh, rabbit sausage has been off the menu for quite some time now. But yes. if you're interested, you and I make it together. Oh, man, I am 100% behind that. Rabbit is considered a delicacy in a lot of places. But back in the 80s, it was way out of left field. A lot of customers couldn't wrap their heads around eating a bunny. So it was off the menu within a couple of years, never to be seen again. Until now. The first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of uh, fresh mozzarella. Sauteed spinach. Now we're ready for the rabbit sausage. It's made with a little bit of pork. Uh, there's some jalapeno in there as well. It's ready. You ready That's to pull it out? It. Let's oh, do yeah. this. Oh, my God. Look at that beauty. Oh, that's gorgeous. But to have a pizza that itself has not been around since the 80s, it's pretty special. This is spectacular. And the first thing I get is that spinach. It's strange. And then it almost becomes the gateway to these other flavors. It's just so damn good. Great as it obviously was back in the day, CPK's rabbit sausage pie didn't exactly change the world. In hindsight, the country likely wasn't ready for rabbit sausage. Now it's finally time for the main event, the pie that put California Pizza Kitchen on the map. The one, the only barbecue chicken pizza. This is the dish that made us want to come to the very first California Pizza Kitchen. Right where we're standing is where it truly all began, right in this spot. The first barbecue chicken pizza was made in 1985. 
So we're gonna start with our sweet and sassy barbecue sauce. A little bit of black pepper in here and definitely a nice smoke note. And then the second ingredient, which is really important too because of the smoky element that it adds. When you oh, think about barbecue Gouda. chicken, Gouda cheese. So the next ingredient. Red onion. Fresh red onion. Then the last ingredient is barbecue chicken. So now that chicken's been tossed in that sauce already? It has. It's been tossed in the same sauce. It's been marinated and grilled in-house and then cut fresh. Oh, man, there we go. Then we're going to hit it with a little additional barbecue sauce, just a touch on top. And that is our barbecue chicken pizza. It's perfection. Yep. I mean, look at it. There are a lot of imitators out there, but none of them taste like this one. That's insanely delicious. One bite, and you get why this is a legend. There's sweetness from the sauce and a little bit of bite from the red onion. It was perfection from day one, and that's why there wasn't really any need to make any changes to it. Mm -mm. Get rid of your members only jacket. You can get rid of your cabbage patch kid, your stonewashed jeans, but this is the thing from the 80s you never want to let go of. After its debut in 1985, Variations of CPK's barbecue chicken pizza appeared in countless pizza shops across the country. Even the biggest national pizza chains got in on the trend, with Domino's introducing their Memphis barbecue chicken pizza in 2009 and Pizza Hut offering a giddy up barbecue chicken pizza in 2014. California Pizza Kitchen inspired a generation of pizza chefs to think beyond the margarita and let the dough be a blank canvas for their wildest culinary imaginations.